five days left. If you are looking to finally hit the ball more solid, find the things in your swing you need to be more consistent day to day. Hit your driver as long as you used to. There are solutions for all of those problems and it starts with guidance, mentorship, and coaching. And if you sign up within the next five days at CogornoGolf.com, you get exactly that from me. Now, not only do you get exactly that, you get it for 12 full months at over 50% off the normal price. That's only $395 for a full year with me. But beyond that, what you're really paying for are those 20 yards off the tee that I'm gonna get you. Is that solid contact that you're looking for? Are the swing keys, the practice plan you need to make real improvements? So if you want 2022 to be different than this year, the last year, stop going through all the simple tips that work one day and not the next. Get a real plan of action, 24 seven access, to myself, my team, all of our master classes, everything you need, kagornogolf.com, valid through January 1st. We'd love to have you as a part of our team. All right, so Colin Morikawa, the best iron ball striker in the world, does this key move that I want you to see here, and I'd like for you to be doing it in your swing as well. So we're gonna put up a picture of Colin, and I want you to notice during his impact position and during the downswing, the relationship of his right arm compared to his left arm. Can you see what he looks like there at impact? Now, note how my right arm and left arm look. This sort of impact position, this one movement, is what you would see out of all the best ball strikers in the world. If you wanna hit the ball more consistent, have nice high draws, you wanna have this in your swing as well. What is that movement? At impact, you're gonna notice a gap or a window between my right arm and my left arm. Do you see that from the down the line camera? Now there's gonna be a window in here between these two arms. Now, the golfers that I see that hit the ball with the worst contact and can't control the direction, how does that impact look? No window, right, from the down the line angle. Right arm straight, handle back. Colin and the good iron strikers look like this. Right arm bent, handle forward. Now to just show you this here, I want you to hold your club up, if you can grab a club here with me, and hold this up straight out in front of you with your arms about level. Let's say this is like your setup position. Now I want you to take your right arm and I want you to bend it and get your right elbow to point more towards your body. So my arms are straight out, kind of normal at setup. Bend your right arm and get your elbow more towards your body. Now what you should see happening from the face on camera as I do this is naturally what happens. Naturally from there, my club head gets farther behind my hands as I create that window from down the line. See how that naturally gives me that shaft lean. As I take that down an impact, there's what my window looks like. My right arm is bent inside of my left and my elbow points towards my body. Now, if you take that same setup with the arms out in front of you and try and get your right arm higher than your left or even bend your left arm and look at what happens. Which way does the handle want to go? It's kind of a weird feeling to even do. Which way does the handle or the butt of the club want to go? More back behind me. Now, if I bring that down to impact, see how that gives me no shaft lean, no window from down the line. What sort of effect is this going to have is your solidness of contact. Why is Collins so good with his irons? Because he hits the ball so consistently solid. Why am I able to go play and shoot around par all the time? Because I hit the ball consistently solid. The difference between me and maybe you or someone who shoots 80, 90, 100, solidness of contact. What can we do to hit the ball more solid? We need to be able to have the shaft leaning forward at impact. How do we do that? We do this movement with our trail arm. We need to be able to take this club, let's just kind of start by going halfway back, and get into an impact position from the down the line angle where my right arm stays inside or behind my left all the way to impact. I want you to feel what that feels like. My left arm's kind of higher and more out, my right arm's more underneath that impact here. One more time, take it halfway back. So from this angle, right arm's inside, and from the face on, you should also see the right arm underneath the left. So my right arm's bent, and the elbow's pointed towards my body. That's external rotation. So how I want you to do this to start is two things. Number one, hold the club in front of you, bend the right arm under the left, and get your elbow towards you. Bend the right arm under the left, elbow towards you. That's essentially what your impact position is gonna feel like. Now, because we're bending your arm and getting it closer to you, 
to get down to the ball, you're probably gonna have to feel like your trail shoulder is closer to the ground than normal. That is good, that's what Colin does. That's what good ball strikers do. So the first part of this, hey, conceptually, Eric, yes, I get that. I want my right arm bent, I want that window. Part number two, how do I feel that, okay? I start to take that concept, work back, and then take that in impact. Okay, that's what I feel like. Okay, my right arm's bent, my elbow points towards my body. I'm creating that sensation. My right arm's underneath. And now I need to take that feel and start to hit some shots with that. So what I'm gonna do is a couple rehearsals, halfway back, keep my right arm inside my left. Don't, from this angle, don't let my right arm get above my left. Watch as I do that, let's do a split screen. My right arm above my left brings the handle back from face on. That's fats and thins. My right arm under and inside my left keeps the handle forward, okay? So I do that with that trail arm motion. And now I'm gonna take that, sensa that same uh, sensation, I'm just gonna clip some seven irons here, and I'm looking for solidness of contact. First things first, Colin Morikawa, create that window. The elbow's bent and pointed towards my stomach. Yeah, and it'd be nice if we had a little like, you know, we got TrackMan and all those things give us all the numbers, but we have like a solid contact like metric, you know, like, like a little thing pop up. Like, oh, Eric, hit that 9.2 out of 10. Solid contact, normal setup, club up, right arm under. Okay, take that same feel, create that with some little half swings. Look at my right arm staying underneath my left, keeping this window. Okay, you might feel like your left arm's kind of more up and out than normal. Right arm more under. That's gonna give us more shaft lean, more solid contact. I mean, that's 11 out of 10. So you should be, when you're doing this correctly, hitting the ball solid right off the bat. Now, two notes here. Number one, Colin's able to do that, I'm able to do that because my club face is already good to go. Okay, so when you deliver the club to here, your right arm's never gonna to wanna to do this if your face is wide open. So you have to make sure via grip backswing wrist angles, watch our videos on those. Make sure your club face angle is already square. You can check that by making sure the toe's even with the heel or slightly tilted down. If your face is open, your brain's gonna go right arm on top to help square it, no good. Number two thing I wanna leave you with too is, if you're struggling with the club working too far out over the top or to the left with pulls, that also comes from the same thing, lack of window. Your right arm gets over your left, the club head gets out to the uh, over the top and you swing too far to the left. Keeping your right arm under not only gets the handle forward, it also does what? Look at where the shaft is. Allows me to swing the club from low and inside. Boom, here's the bad. No shaft lean from face on, club's too far out. Right arm under my left, elbow pointed towards me, shaft from inside handle location. So one more, so it's Colin, it's me, it's gonna be you if you're doing this drill. Right arm underneath the left, Okay, that's my impact position, open my hips a little. I'm taking that, creating that same sensation, keeping, I really feel like my right arm stays inside from down the line, that's what I'm feeling. My left arm's more out, my right arm's more in, towards me, taking that same sensation. This should be solid contact, high bomb draws. Yeah, beautiful. So, again, we're using Colin here, He's made a bazillion dollars on tour. He hits the ball really solid. But realistically, you go watch any of these uh, really high-level ball strikers, you're gonna see that same position. You could train that in. It fixes a lot of problems. You have to make sure that your club face angle is good. We're gonna put a card on the screen so that you can go over your club face angle if you're struggling with that. Check out kagornogolf.com. Like I mentioned, now is the time. If you're looking for coaching, you wanna improve this with the holiday special. We'd love to see you there.